Hey guys, Trent here coming at you with another video. So of course we'll look at some sales, but uh, let's talk a little bit about drop shipping again. So if you're new to my channel, welcome in. My name is Trent. I'm a part-time reseller on eBay. I do it for fun and profit and I take you along for the journey. So please hit that subscribe button for more great videos in the future. Yeah, I'm not going to go into specific details on a recent bit of question I've had from a viewer. I appreciate the questions. Uh, I don't want to say the names and, and, and everything, but it's in regards to drop shipping. So the question was something along the lines of, Hey, I see these people on YouTube that are teaching people how to drop ship from Amazon to eBay or from, or using Walmart to, to sell items on eBay and then drop shipping from Walmart to the, to the eBay customer or, uh, or I'll give you another example. Uh, I bought an item from somebody on eBay and it got drop shipped to me from Lowe's. So the question was like, hey, I see these YouTube personalities. Uh, they've got a big following. Uh, they're teaching, not only are they teaching people how to drop ship uh, in these ways, you know, Walmart, to, you know, using eBay to drop ship items from Walmart and some stuff like that, uh, but they're actually charging people for courses on how to do this. So they obviously have some pretty good confidence that what they're doing, I guess, is either correct or as far as legal, I guess you could say, or uh, within eBay's policy. So first off, we'll establish once again, I made a video on drop shipping on eBay not too long ago. Uh, eBay has stated very clearly their drop shipping policy. And I will link the policy again down in the description box of this video. Uh, as I did before, but uh, eBay, uh, it is against eBay's policy to drop ship items from Walmart, uh, Lowe's, or anything like that on their platform, uh, unless you have, like basically they are your licensed distributor, which uh, in all reality, none of us are gonna be, you know, Walmart and, and Lowe's and places like that, they don't do that. You know, they don't, they have their own online sales that they do, so they're not gonna be you know, licensing out their products for us to sell on eBay and mark them up and, and make more profit than they are, right? So my, my guess is that the people that are charging for these courses uh, are using terminology like, uh, you know, you drop ship from your supplier. And so according to eBay's policy, if you have an actual supplier, as in you have like a contractual agreement with a supplier that they're, you know, some of their products that they have are yours to sell, then that eBay does allow that, okay? Or if, let's say, you are also sell on Amazon and you uh, sell Amazon FBA and you have, you shipped a bunch of your actual merchandise over to the Amazon FBA warehouse, uh, you are allowed to drop ship your own items for, on eBay if you can, if you sell one of those items that were your items that are in the eBay, or the Amazon warehouse and you sell it on eBay, you can have it drop shipped to your customer because that's your merchandise. And I believe there is one other rare exception. Uh, if there's a situation where you sent somebody an item and somehow or oh wait, no, what is it? Oh, I'm sorry. If you, if somehow you misplaced an item or something like that, like out of stock kind of thing, uh, I believe you're allowed to purchase an, uh, that item. To, just to make it right with your customer, your I believe eBay technically allows you to purchase an item and have it drop shipped to that customer to help satisfy that order rather than you know disappointing that customer. But that one's a little bit of a I'm not very solid on that that fact. So, anyways, uh, review the policy. So in regards to these questions, you know they they're saying these this this uh, YouTube. There's one specifically I'm sure a lot of you guys know. Uh, I'm not going to mention any names, but you know, they say, Hey, this YouTube personality, he's got, he or she claims to make millions of, you know, whatever, hundreds, hundreds of thousands of dollars a year or, or per quarter on, uh, on eBay, you know, drop shipping on eBay. And, uh, he's teaching people how to do it and charging them. I think it was like close to $300 per, for a course on how to drop ship. My answer to that is, uh, the eBay policy is very clear. There's a lot of things that people do out there in life that uh, they just don't get caught for quite a while, okay? So my best theory on why 
this is going on, why they're able to do this. Um, my theory is that they are masters of deceiving eBay and, and working their way around the policy and, and not getting caught, basically. That's the best thing I could tell you. And if you pay for such a course, then my guess is that you're basically being taught how to get away with violating eBay's policy. Because the bottom line is the policy is in black and white. A lot of people will come on the video and say, oh, it's totally legal. People do it all the time. Just because people do it, uh, maybe even eBay, maybe might, you know, eBay might turn a blind eye to it, right? Because let's be honest. If the dropshipping transactions are successful, eBay's making money, okay? So it might be one of those situations where they're not going to do anything about it unless something goes wrong with the transaction. And then once a buyer has a problem, then perhaps that's when eBay says, hey, we warned you that was the policy. So now you're suspended, you know? So do I acknowledge that there's probably people out there that are making a lot of money doing dropshipping on eBay? Uh, uh, to place from places like Walmart and, and their quote unquote suppliers. Uh, yeah, that's probably happening. Uh, does it make it right and within eBay's policy? No, it does not. So the question would remain is if it's something that you were looking at, are you morally okay with it? And are you, do you have the nerve, the guts to take the risk of possibly getting suspended? Because that, that's what it's going to come down to. It's a pretty tricky risk versus reward situation. But make no mistake, the eBay policy is still the eBay policy and uh, it states very clearly that all these very things that people are claiming to do uh, and calling some, them, the, you know, their suppliers, Walmart, Lowe's, uh, even Amazon, I believe, um, you are not allowed to lift a listing description and pictures from, you know, whatever, Walmart, put it up for sale on eBay sell it for a higher price on eBay than where you, what you would have to pay for it at Walmart. Once it sells on eBay, you go and buy it on Walmart and have it shipped to your customer. Uh, it's a no-no. So if you want to try to regain the system, go pay $300 for one of those courses, you know, uh, learn all the little ghost account tactics, probably using a credit cards to pay so where you can't get chargebacks and all this other little sneaky shenanigans and see how long it, it, it does see if it does well for you it might in the meantime uh i'll just be continuing to go out and thrift uh source items having fun interacting with items uh treasure hunting and having a good time fun and profit okay fun kind of comes first for me but i wanted to put an updated uh little uh disclaimer about ebay drop shipping uh that yeah you're not really allowed to do it <laughs> So once again, check out the policy link in the description. Uh, so yeah, uh, I see one other thing I'll mention is I see these personalities that are selling this drop shipping thing. They get questioned all the time. How, how are you not violating eBay policy? How are you not violating eBay policy? Isn't that against eBay policy? Explain how you're not in violation of eBay policy. And I've never heard about them giving an answer. They just keep ignoring that, you know, because they're violating eBay policy. There's no way around it. All right, let's look at some sales. All right, I sold these accessories for a perfect pull-up system. Uh, this was a set I had. Uh, I sold off the pieces. Here's just another piece that sold from it. These are straps that you put your arms in to do like crunches while you're hanging on your by your arms. Uh, $23.89 total paid by the customer. Just gonna roll it up in uh, mailer. Thirteen ouncer. All right, here's a little Power Ranger figure I picked up for $1.99, I think. This is a Power Ranger uh, something, I think Dino Thunder or something like that. Uh, this figure sold for $15.76 total paid by the customer. I think I got a box that's going to work for this guy. Yeah, perfect. 10 ounces. Here's a video game, Wii game, that I picked up from Goodwill for... I think I paid $3.99 for it. A boy in his blob. Total price paid by the customer, uh, $16.35. Just gonna do a padded mailer for that one. Uh, here's that yard sale Bible I got, the Barnes and Noble's Holy Bible. Really nice one. I paid uh, five bucks for it. Total price paid by the customer, $43.90. 
gonna put it in this box. I'm gonna ship it media mail, so I'm gonna really wrap it up good. Put in my Bible. I got a lot of these right now. I'm gonna fill in the void with these. Six pounds, but it's medium male, so it's gonna be a nice one. All right, I sold that Jarts box. Uh, I had the lowest price. Uh, Somebody's trying to put together a collection that they had as a kid. So, uh, sold the box and the yellow rings. Uh, total price paid by the customer for the Jarts box, $97.56. All probably put some more paper on top to stabilize it a little bit. We don't want to crush the box though. Seems pretty decent. Four pounder. Okay, my most recent yard sale, I sold already that Star Wars lot. I flipped it pretty quick, not for a whole lot of profit, but it still flipped it and made a profit. Uh, so it got some pretty good pieces in there and a huge accessory bag. Uh, total price paid by the customer, $47.08. So I'll probably just throw all these figures in a bag. Yeah, I'll throw all this stuff in a bag and then uh, Add this box and place everything in there. Another bubble wrap. Don't want to mash it down, but if you want to stabilize it, that seems pretty good. Five pounds of Star Wars toys going out. All right, finally got a old school Star Wars lot. I took all the cheap old school blasters. Uh, we got a recon with a lot of stuff on it. All the battery stuff works on these too. We got a recon, two uh, night finders working. We got that uh, uh, deploy working nice. And a barricade, pretty nice blaster and 30 darts total price paid by the customer $44.69 gotta make sure the big guy gets in there first this guy barricade night finders buttstock 30 darts and that pretty much fills the box. It's kind of heavy, eight pounds. So FedEx be kind to me. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know about eBay tips and tricks. Uh, leave a comment down in the comment section to say hi. Always appreciate it. Once again, I hope you enjoyed the video and have a good day.